Today I'm going to be demonstrating why you should never stir glow sticks. Well, if you've stumbled upon this video, welcome and subscribe. Why not? It's free. Now, what I've done here is something a bit stupid. I mean, it's certainly breaking the rules for safety instructions of glow sticks, but what I've done is I've cut them in half. The glow stick juices are all leaking out. This is toxic chemicals. It's hydrogen peroxide, oxalate esters, and colored dyes. And as you've just seen, I've just shaken in some baking soda, which is sodium bicarbonate, and then I'm gonna stir that thoroughly through. Now the idea here is to thoroughly incorporate the glow stick juices into the sodium bicarbonate and that's what we're doing here. We're just stirring it through, making sure that we're getting all the sodium bicarbonate and absorbing all the chemicals. And this is looking excellent now. Look at the glow. That's just beautiful. Now the next step is to add some acetic acid or white vinegar. Just slowly drizzle it in and then see what happens. Oh, this is looking very fizzy and very moist now, isn't it? So it's gone from being a very dry ingredient mix to quite a fizzy, wet mix. I, I guess this is the real reason you should never stir glow sticks because you're going to get this kind of a mess. It's absolutely disgusting. Now, because it's so disgusting looking, I'm going to give it a vigorous stir. And this is the kind of aggressive stir that you need to do when you're just letting out all your frustration in the kitchen. I mean, some days you're just so frustrated with life that you just need to stir the beep out of things to just to uh, calm yourself down. This is kind of that, you know, um, ingredient mix that you should really be looking at here. Oh, you know, my wrist is so sore, you know, um, yeah, it kind of feels like Saturday night, doesn't it? Oh. Well, I feel nice and relaxed now. And because you're relaxed, there's two more videos for you to view now. The one on the left and the one on the right. Whew.